Let's start this hour off with KDW, which stands for Khan's Digital World. The brilliant host here is Dr. Badrul Khan, who is a world-class speaker on digital technology. Let's take a look. Welcome to KDW, Khan's Digital World on Fox 5 Plus Washington, D.C. I'm Badrul Khan, and thanks for joining us today. I would like to thank our executive producer, Mrs. Nilima Mehra, and Jasmine Ahmed of New York for supporting the show. As you all know, facing challenges of COVID-19 has forced almost every educational institution in the world to act quickly, introducing technology to move learning online and adapting hybrid teaching modalities with some students present in the classroom and others simultaneously attending remotely. Today, we'll discuss blended learning. Today, I'm so happy to have Desiree Laurel as my co-host. She has background in learning technologies, systems, and sciences, and her doctoral research focuses on learning technology acquisition. How are you, Desiree? I am well. Thank you so much, Dr. Khan, for inviting me. I'm glad to be here, and I'm looking forward to discussing blended learning with you today. I'm so excited to hear about what you've been up to. I've read your work. Dr. Khan, can you elaborate on exactly what is blended learning and why it's such a vital and critical topic right now? Well, thank you, Desiree, and we also call you Desi. As you know, learning requirements and preferences of each learner tend to be different. Organization must use a blend of learning approaches in their strategies to get the right content in the right format to the right people at the right time. Blended learning combines multiple delivery media that are designed to complement each other and promote learning and application learned behavior. You developed an octagonal framework for blended learning, which helps instructional leaders select appropriate ingredients to guide, plan, develop, deliver, manage, and evaluate blended learning programs. Can you speak to the eight dimensions of your framework and how each component work collectively to support blended instruction? The framework has eight dimensions. Institutional, pedagogical, technological, interface design, evaluation, management, resource support, and ethical consideration. Each dimension in the framework represents a category of issues that need to be addressed. These issues can help organize thinking and enhance and ensure that the resulting learning program creates a meaningful learning experience. Ah, Dr. Khan, that makes so much sense now. So what would you say are the dimensions of the blend? A blended learning program may combine one or more dimensions, including blending offline and online learning, blending self-paced and live, collaborative learning, blending structured and unstructured learning, blending custom content with off-the-shelf content, and blended learning with practice and performance support. Wow, that's a lot to choose from. So, Dr. Khan, why blend? What are the benefits and advantages of blended learning? Well, the concept of blended learning is rooted in the idea that learning is not just one-time event. Learning is a continuous process. Blending provides various benefits over using any single learning delivery media alone. Three benefits include extended the reach, optimizing development cost and time, and evidence that blending works. Dr. Khan, that does sound valuable. Can you elaborate a little further about those advantages? Sure, Deshi. Extending the reach simply means moving beyond the physical borders of the physical classroom space to reach the learners where they are. Organizations are able to optimize development cost and time by leveraging simpler cell-based materials, such as generic off-the-shelf web-based training, documents, case studies, recorded e-learning events, text assignments, and PowerPoint presentation, which requiring quicker 
turnaround times and lower production effort to develop a product that meets the need quicker and with less overhead. Okay, thank you. That makes so much sense, Dr. Khan. But I know everyone in the audi audience is thinking, how do I do this? So Dr. Khan, I ask you, how do we make blended learning effective? Thank you, Desi. Well, there are three ways to accomplish this, micro-learning and blended learning, space learning and blended learning, and artificial intelligence and blended learning. You see, what we need to do in blended learning, we need to understand the, when you blend, if it works good for online, use it. If it goes for face-to-face -face classes, use it. So it is depending on the complexity of the content. If the content is usable in the classroom, use it. Ask people around. If it's good on online, use it. So it's good. Thank that, you. Thank you. So that's all you have for today. We'll see you with another episode of KDW next with an exciting episode. Thanks for watching.